Can I change my lawyer? Wow, that's a common question that people ask us in their personal injury cases. My name's Eric Stevenson, and I'm an attorney at Stevenson Klotz Injury Lawyers. Join me as I answer that question for just a few minutes today. You know, people hire lawyers and they interview lawyers and they find the lawyer that they think is a good fit. And then for whatever reason, sometimes, not very often, uh, they decide that they want to change lawyers. And so I get asked sometimes, Am I, can I change my lawyer? And in a personal injury case, uh, there are some questions you need to have answered with your lawyer uh, if you're thinking about changing a lawyer. And because there are a whole lot of issues about it. First of all, in a contingency fee agreement, a lawyer gets paid a percentage of whatever they recover. And that's the way most lawyers in a personal injury case get paid. And so, you know, most clients would think, well, if I switch lawyers and we don't recover any money, then my lawyer, my previous lawyer doesn't get paid. But that, that really wouldn't be fair to the lawyer who put a lot of time into the case. And so what the lawyer, what the law says, and I'm going to use a legal term here, and then I'll explain what it means. What the law says is if you switch lawyers in a contingency fee agreement type case, like a personal injury case, then the first lawyer is entitled to what's called quantum merit. Uh, for their fees, which really means that that they're entitled to a fair rate for their time that they put into the case. So what would happen if somebody switched lawyers is let's say that their case was worth $20,000 and they get a new lawyer and the lawyer settles it for $20,000 and so that lawyer's fee is $6,666.66. Well, the first lawyer is also entitled to get repaid for the amount of time they spent on the case, but that doesn't come from that fee. It actually comes on top. So if that lawyer had spent a bunch of hours on the case and had racked up what would be if they were getting paid at an hourly rate, $5,000 in fees, then what would happen is the person when they settle the case would pay their new lawyer the $6,000 and then also pay their past lawyer maybe $5,000 on top of that. In addition, you also have to reimburse the first lawyer for whatever costs they spent in the case. So you want to explore long and hard with your original lawyer whether you really should change lawyers. Try to make that relationship work. But if that's not working out for you, then go talk to other lawyers. Most of them will tell you that they can't talk to you until you have terminated your contract with your other lawyer. And so that's why I'm going to tell you, you really need to, to think long and hard before you change lawyers, but you've got to right, find the right fit. And if your lawyer is not doing a good job for you, then hire another lawyer. But just know that this fee issue may be an issue there. And so you want to make sure that, that you get your self-protected and that you don't have to double pay a lawyer in that situation. So those are some of the issues with switching lawyers. Short answer is yes, you can switch lawyers. And, and if you need to, you should do that. But there are some things that you need to pay attention to in the law on that. So I hope this has helped answer your question. I know a lot of people watching these videos have friends or family members, or maybe this is a question that you wanted to have answered. If you have any other questions ever, feel free to call me. My name is Eric Stevenson. My number is 850-444-0000 and just bring it.